Welcome to another episode of Hard Lessons with Demel Hanna. I'm your host, Demel Hanna. Uh, segregation in Stateville, like I said, was his own monster. Ain't no, I'm telling you, it is. And I'm going to show you. Uh, I remember, you know, a few times, like, this. that's what they talk about, like, you got to be accountable on the line. When you're on the line, you got to be accountable. So, in our facilities, if you ain't, if you ain't, look, if you ain't in PC, you can either be an old timer but people still respect you they knew what you was you know what i'm saying uh, but if for instance you are in communication with the with the membership or you are a part of the membership and you are you you accountable you know what the fuck going on. You listening. You paying attention. Because you throwing up something. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if you in segregation, and let's say we in our house, it's 10 cells. So it's 20 people. It might be 12 cells. 22. Let's say everybody go to uh let's say everybody go to uh go to yard. Or you have heard, you have gotten a kite that y'all on a certain color, you know what I'm saying? Meaning that whether y'all on high alert or y'all cautious. And the kite said go to the yard. It's two of y'all, it's two of y'all on, on, uh, back there. Y'all got to go to the yard, man. We got issues with blase blase them. That's what it say on the kite. <laughs> now, you already in segregation. What you going to do? Hell yeah. That's been a reality. That's been a reality. I'm going outside, man. If that kite say go outside, that's where the fuck I'm going. I promise you. I promise you. If the kite say, if I'm on that wing, and somebody find out that I'm on that wing, me and somebody else, and we got issue like, let's say something happened in E House or B House, where a motherfucker put some steel, or they jumped on some of the guys, and the people that did it, we on the wing with them. They didn't put all three of them on the wing. Now, sometimes administration play that, man. They be saving, they be saving guys. They do. Sometimes they do. Depending on who it is. The administration will do that bitch ass shit. They play politics, try to play us against each other, the gangs and shit. You know what I'm saying? They'll favor one game or, or gang or make it look like they're giving them favor, showing them favor. And so as a human being, you react like, why the fuck y'all showing them favor? Okay, well, we go fuck them up. That happens. They do. Administration play us against each other. They do that shit. You know what I'm saying? But let's say you in segregation and the kites say them guys that hit homie them, they on... Uh, 3A. Get at them. What you, what you gonna do? You think you gonna stand, 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 stand that room? Oh, man, you's a bitch forever. You can't stand that room, man. You can't do that. If you say you a part of this, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, either one of the guys go find out that I'm... You know, either I'm on that wing or one of the one of the one of the other homies on the wing. We going outside though, and 
<laughs> Check this out. You don't know who you hitting until you really get out there. Or you don't know who you got beef with until you get out there. All three of them motherfuckers. Maybe over 250, six feet tall. You don't know. Until you get outside, motherfucker. You see this? This gang shit is, is more funner than Will of Fortune. Because <laughs> you might die, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? For real, your ass might just fucking die playing around with this shit. Your ass might die, man. Seriously, so, uh, man, I done been on that shit, man, in, in Stateville. Gotta go outside, God damn it, gotta fight. Gotta fight, you gotta fight. You know, you gotta motherfucking fight because you already know what it is. It ain't no, you don't talk. It's not what this is. Ain't no talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm a young motherfucker. I, 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 you know, I done been through enough around this age. I'm 20, 21. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I know what, you know what, what I, I, I just know, man. I could read some shit, and if it say this happened and that happened, and if you are indeed around those particular individuals, this must happen. They don't gotta say that, but I know what the fuck I, 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 I'm, if I'm reading the kite, I know what the fuck I gotta do, I promise you. I know. I done been through this shit enough. I'm, I done developed, I done got to that stage in my, in my career where I can read a kite and determine whether or not these individuals, if I come in contact with them, is it a talkative situation or a physical situation. You know what I'm saying? I know that, man, by reading the kite, man. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it ain't gonna be nothing but physical. It's finna be on, goddammit. And you can't, you know, you can't be no motherfucker that's, you know, uh, <laughs> you, you, you know, you know when it's, it's physical time because if you don't carry out what the fuck that motherfucking, that kite, is saying they go carry it out on your ass when they see your ass they go carry it out on your motherfucking ass man you know what i'm saying this ain't no fucking joke motherfucker you feel me when we got motherfucking issues with motherfuckers you know because they didn't put their hands on some people that we love you dig uh it ain't talking you know we go talk later we got to get our get back, though. Y'all fucked up our homie over there? Okay, we finna fuck y'all up or try to. Or try to, you know? That's all it is, man. You know? Shit. <laughs> you, uh, you either got some heart or you don't, motherfucker. That's it. I promise you. I promise you, man. I ain't, uh... If I'm, if I'm, if, if, if my number is called... I'm carrying it out. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't fuck the consequences. I ain't even worried about them motherfuckers. My, the consequences to me was becoming in bad standing with the organization. Those consequences are more motherfucking dire than anything. That was my motherfucking mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I didn't want to never become in bad standing with the organization. I ain't never want the organization like, to be like, man, get your motherfucking ass away from us. You know what I mean? So it wasn't about like some guys, some guys used to be like, uh, they had this thing called back in the day. We, we made this shit famous. We called it sinos. I promise you. Here in Chicago, we made that motherfucking terminology famous. You a sent off. And some motherfuckers. A sent off was somebody that would easily do something if someone told them to. That was our definition of a sent off. Or you wanted to prove yourself all the time. You know, just you just want to prove yourself all the time. You know, that was our definition of a sent off here in Chicago. Now, uh, 
I was never a sent off, ever. Not outside, up in the street, not, not in prison. But in the organization, I wanted to, I wanted to always be somebody that people know, people knew was a was serious. I, I, that's what I wanted to. That's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be that person where people was like, you know, he's he's serious. He loved this, you know. So uh, I didn't play. You know what I mean? Like I didn't. I didn't. I. I. You know, if my number, if I was in segregation, and I had to do something, I did it. If I was in general population, and I had to do something, I did it. You know, that's what the fuck I did. You know, and sometimes Stateville, Stateville, Manab. I get to Manab, but Stateville was definitely like that. You know what I mean? So I synced a lot of shit, man. I did like, uh, let me see. And, 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 and from 1999 of December to 2001 of June, within 12, 18, within 18 months, I did 14 of those in segregation. So. I seen a lot of shit. I seen motherfuckers playing in their feces and shit. I seen motherfuckers screaming. I ran into one dude. He was a he was a, a golden gloves. He was raw with his with his dukes, but somebody had had hit him with some lead pipes in his head, and he lost his I think sense of hearing. So now he just used to just scream and shit. But he still like guys used to be like, man, dude, he raw as hell with his dukes. But he was, you know, that lead pipe has, had, you know, it deteriorated his brain. You know what I'm saying? So he used to just be screaming and shit. Uh, I came in contact with some motherfuckers, man. I had this dude, this dude, this white dude. This dude was like fucking, uh, 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 what was dude name? Scorts, uh, Scorts, what was dude name on prison break? Prison break? When the first prison break first came on, dude drew the whole fucking prison on his back. I had a cellmate that was genius like that. He was. That motherfucker drew the whole fucking layout of Stateville for me. <laughs> I was plotting on escaping. I was. I was plotting on escaping out that bitch, man. I was. I was trying to get the fuck up out that motherfucker by any means necessary, man. I had him draw the whole motherfucking layout of Stateville, the whole fucking institution. He was raw. He was fucking so great, man, with a fucking pen. You know what I'm saying? And 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 a cardboard motherfucking uh like like they they used to let us buy these paintings and he told me like, hey wax, if you buy me like a cardboard, cause you can you can you can buy that shit off commissary. He like I draw the whole prison for you. I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. He was my celly for about a month and 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 F house, cause I used to like I say they used to bank me so much from F house to I house, F house to I house. I was moving around, but you know what? That shit helped my development. It did. Yeah. Segregation was a monster though, man. That motherfucker was a monster. And uh, it was, it was, you know, it had its times because, like in Stateville, there's a lot of black women worked there, man, a lot. Man, I'm talking about, Jesus Christ, they looked so, they looked so good then. They did. <laughs> they looked so good then because uh, down in Stateville, we didn't have that many channels, and you know, TV wasn't what it is today. It didn't, it didn't have all this reality stuff, you know, flavor of love and. And, 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 and all these games, they wasn't out then. What Change of Heart was out then. Change of Heart and Fifth Wheel and, and uh, 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 Blind Date. That was out then, you know. So, uh, you only had shit. We only had like six, seven channels. So, we'll watch like Change of Heart. That was our shows, you know. Whatever, whatever we could watch with women. So Stateville was so great because it had women down there. It did. It was good for me, man, just to just see women. You know, young women, you know, older women, you know what I'm saying? Different ages, different races, you know, black, white. They worked in the prison. They looked good. 
they did. They look good, man. And that shit, man. Damn that shit. I'm a, man, I'm gonna talk about that, man. But segregation, yeah, segregation, that helped me.